fact, in this problem, it wants us to find the length of arc AC, which is right here, okay? And we have a couple things going on. First off, we have our equation that we're going to use to find arc length, all right? And that uses circumference. So if I find that right away here, remember circumference equals either 2 pi r, or you could say circumference equals pi d, where d is the diameter, because 2 times the radius is the diameter. So if I do 20 times pi, c equals 20 pi. We're going to use that in our equation. All right, now I don't know this length here. That's what I'm trying to find. I'm going to call it x. We're going to say x over the c circumference for this. We get 20 pi equals, and then the arc measure is going to be 60 degrees over 360. And again, I want to simplify this as much as possible. I do know that 60 goes into both of these. 60 goes into 60 once, and it goes into 360 six times. The other side stays the same, x over 20 pi. If I cross multiply, x times 6 is 6x, 20 pi times 1 is 20 pi. So then if I just divide by 6, x equals 20 pi divided by 6, which is 10.5. Of course, I am rounding there. Um, to the nearest tenth, but 10.5 yards. That is the label on this one.